this here is one of the most popular SEO plugins out there. It's called RankMath SEO, and this is the dashboard for it. As you see, a bunch of settings, options, tools, and if you open up the post, then all the settings are here. It's also a bit cluttered, bunch of icons and stuff. And if you know what you're doing, then it's all nice and dandy. But from my customers, I know that if you're a beginner, then it all gets a bit confusing soon. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you a brand new plugin. It's called SureRank SEO Assistant with Meta Tags, Social Preview, XML Sitemap and Schema. And the plugin is developed by the same team who developed Astra Team, which is one of the most popular teams out there with more than 1 million active installation. The same team also developed Spectra Gutenberg Blocks plugin, which also has more than 1 million active installations. So I'm going to install the plugin, set it up, and you'll see everything what is it to know at this point. The plugin was released two weeks ago, so it's brand new. Let's go to the plugins. I'm going to search for SureRank. I'm going to install it. And now I'm going to activate it. Onboarding screen appears, so let's get started. First, this website represents whether it's personal, business website, organization, personal blog, community, or webshot. It's a personal website, website owner name, phone number if needed. And now I'm going to look for a logo. This one here. Next, I'm going to select about page, contact page, and I'm going to move to the next page. I don't have any Facebook pages, but I have X account and I have YouTube page. Nothing else here. So next, if you would like to sign to the SureRank newsletter, then enter your information. Otherwise, click on skip. Now let's go to the dashboard and let's see what happens here. First thing it does, it's going to scan your site. And it's going to display whether there are any issues. Currently, it says that another plugin, Rank Math, is detected on the site and that the search engine title of the home page exceeds 60 characters. It also suggests that Google Search Console should be connected. Now I'm going to fix all those issues one by one. Therefore, first I'm going to go to the tools and I'm going to import all the SEO data from the Rank Math SEO plugin. At the moment, it allows you to migrate all the data from other popular SEO plugins such as RankMath, All-in-One SEO or Yoast without losing critical information. So I'm going to choose RankMath and I'm going to migrate all the info. Depending on your site size, it may take a bit of time. But since my site is relatively small, it's going to take only 20 or 30 seconds. When it's done, it says that we've imported SEO settings. Here's what's done. And let's click done and move to the dashboard. As you see, it still says that another SEO plugin detected on the site. Therefore, I'm going to rerun checks and it's fixed. Images on the home page do not have alt text attributes. And when I click on this view button, it opens up the image, which has a problem. Therefore, I know what should I do. I'm going to go to the home page, edit the page, open up this image. Add text, WordPress tips and tricks, save, back to the dashboard, rerun, and done. It also says that the logo doesn't have any alternative text. So I'm going to click on this image. And this is the other way to open it up. I'm going to edit this one and this one. Let's update. And let's update also this one here. Let's rerun the checks. And it's fixed. Next, Google Search Console is not connected, so I'm going to click on the Search Console link. Click on this button. I'm going to select the correct account. Click on Continue. Once more, Continue. And next, I'm going to select my website. I'm going to proceed. And it's going to load all the Search Console traffic inside this dashboard here. Awesome. Now let's go back to the general settings, and you'll see what happens here. First, there are meta templates. You can set up your own templates here for default posts and social networks. I'm going to select another image here. And this is going to be the default image. Let's save it. I can select a different image for Facebook or for Twitter. I can select the card type, which is displayed if shared. I like the large image option more. 
once again you can add your other accounts here home page info archive pages and nothing else to it under the advanced you can set the no index no follow and no archive for different post types for example if you don't want any media to be indexed then you can select it here i'm gonna deselect it but i don't want the content blocks to be indexed let's save it in a similar way you can choose the taxonomies and archives if you open up the no follow or no archive then basically the same happens here under the sitemaps you can enable sitemaps and if you click on open sitemap you will see your sitemap here sitemaps are important for the search engines under the schema you will see what are all the schema types which are detected from your site based on the post types you have and plugins you have installed you can add your own schemas or you can edit them one by one and set the descriptions names and so on under the features you can enable or disable page level checks, Google Search Console or Schema. And that's basically it from the settings side. Fairly simple. Next, if you click on this icon, the knowledge base is opened up. So take a look at the knowledge base. Here you will see all the change logs and you'll see that Sure Rank version 1 was released two weeks ago. There has been also some improvements made and all this info is displayed here. If you need to search any options, for example, console, then you can do it here. Content performance, meta templates, and whatever it is. Now let's go to the posts. I'm going to open up one post. And you'll see that there is a column called page SEO checks needs improvement. If I open it up, then the sure rank icon is up here. If you click on it, you'll see how does it look like. This is the search engine preview. Currently it uses post title and site name. I'm gonna lose the site name and post title. Instead, I'm gonna paste this one here for you to see. As you see, currently it's longer than needed. Therefore, I'm gonna tweak it a bit. I'm gonna delete the post content and I'm gonna add in this post, I'm going to show you how to display WooCommerce variations as individual products directly on your shop page nothing else to it and here's the preview under the advanced i can activate no index no follow or no archive or add canonical url and once again some schema options under the social i can change the image currently it displays my featured image and this info here next one take a look at this icon here when i click here it says that there are a bunch of past checks, nothing for me to worry. But if you open it up, you'll see what happens here. It says that one or more broken links found on the page. But I know that uh, actually this link works. It's a redirect from this link to another link. And therefore it says it doesn't work. But I know it works, so I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to save it and be done with it. And as you see, it's really easy. What I like about it is how the panel is really clear. It's not hard to use. It's not cluttered. And I believe that even my beginner customers will manage to work with it without any issues. Now let's go to the categories because it works also for the taxonomies. If I open up one taxonomy, then at first glance, you may think, well, where's the sure rank panel? At first glance, I struggled to figure out what's happening, but then I noticed this icon here. When you click on it, the same panel opens up and you can fill the fields. The same happens with every other taxonomy or tags. On the pages, it works similarly as on posts, but on the WooCommerce products, once again, there is no panel or icon visible somewhere here. You have to figure out that this is the way to open up the SEO panel here. And yeah, there you go. This is the early version of this plugin, 1.1. I'm pretty sure that more tools will be added in the later versions. But at the moment, what I like about it is that it's easy to use and it's not cluttered or bloated with all sorts of stuff usual people don't need. Now, since we're talking about SEO, I have made a separate video and in it I'm going to show you why you don't have to believe this SEO score myth. So be sure to take a look at this video next. In the meantime, take care.